everybody and welcome back to your daily dose of modern Minecraft and today this marks the beginning of season two of our wonderful series here and we're not in the same mod pack are we it things look different uh, indeed they are we are playing in the new hermitcraft mod pack which is in a very recent version of Minecraft which is some pretty cool stuff. So, uh, I spawned with this little uh, bonus chest here. I turned that on, and that's pretty cool. This, uh, since this is all in the newest released version of Minecraft, I have no idea how like any of this stuff works. Okay, so they have a bunch of mods in here I've never even heard of. So let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. First of all, I want to do what? What do I want to do? I don't know. Uh, let's see. So, to start out, I want to cook that sh fish because I'm already starting to lose a little bit of hunger. Of course, this is a modded Minecraft series. Uh, however, the mods may not be that apparent yet. However, I think this is something we're going to want. Is it canola? Yes, it is. Uh, canola is a pretty early form of energy production, if I'm correct. So we're going to want to get that going after we get the basic setup. At certain points, things may sound echoey in the game, and that's because of a mod that makes hearing a little bit more realistic. So, yeah. Okay, so that's our first furnace. I'll name him Billy. Oops. And there's a pickaxe and shovel. So let's place down our furnace and get our food a cooking. Perfect. I probably should have made an axe, uh, but I'll do that anyway. Um, so I scouted out the area a little bit before beginning. Also, something that I need to mention before I get to into this um oh you can make a lot of things with apples sack of holding oh my goodness what sorry i got distracted anyway uh this is a customized world so the biomes are smaller than they would normally be so if there's any extra biomes in this mod pack which i don't know if there are uh i'm gonna be able to explore them nice and easily and uh, I scouted out a head before beginning, and I found a little um, village in this direction. So let's head over there. Ooh, chickens. I have to remember the new combat system. It's very annoying. New plant, what are you? Ooh, coffee. Cherries. I can't express how happy I am about this. What is this? Uh, sweet potato, white mushroom, blackberry. Oh yes, I need all of it. I'm sure that this will be, oh gosh. My inventory got filled up very quickly. Let's see, anything that I don't have seeds for, I don't necessarily want. So, I can toss all that out. Let's keep on heading over to that village. Hopefully, they can give us shelter for the night. Maybe grab a little bit more of this. Okay, and let's keep on heading this way. It can't have been that far away because I saw it just along the horizon. And I'm pretty sure it had a blacksmith shop. Oh, hello, horsey. I'm glad to see you too. Just grab a few pumpkins real quick and keep on moving. Hopefully these eight cherries will try or help us to stop from starving. I'm sure that the village was somewhere around here. Let me cease recording for one moment and I'll check around and come back to you when I found it. Alright guys, uh, I haven't done really anything, but 
I know where the village is now. It was just a little bit further away than I thought. Excuse me, creeper. Just gotta make a mad dash there. Ow! Don't hit me, please. Please, I fan. Eh. No! Ah! Everything is out to get me! Okay, okay. Just... BAM! What mode am I on? Because... Okay, I'm on normal. Nothing can break into my house. That's good. There's nothing in that chest, which is a bit disappointing. But this is a really nice looking house. I think I'll make it my beginning base. Okay, let's see. 26 paper for an emerald, not bad. Kaboomerang. That sounds incredible. All right, mad dash, mad dash. I wanna make it into some of the other buildings. See what we have around here. Um, these cherries do not have much use. Let's see if we can make them any better. Uh, fruit bait, cherry snack. There doesn't seem to be anything very simple. So, uh, let's just pop down our furnace, maybe cook some of this chicken we have, and place a torch in here because, goodness, it is dark. <sighs> that was very stressful. I'm gonna break some of these books. They might come in handy. Library. Decay. I don't know what that does. Druid. Okay. You look like you could be useful, especially if I had, like, an auto farming setup. I like the idea of this, um, housing on the river. Okay. Uh... I'm gonna just mine those two blocks so that I can get myself a sword. Because the things outside are not friendly. Um, let's see. Okay, it's coming after me already. Let's run. Run, 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 run. Boink. Okay, iron chest plate, electrical steel, ender wing. Teleport to world spawn. Potion wand. Left click on creature to apply effect. Prospector. Detects ores on a straight line. Redstone alloy. That'll be useful. Fire char charm. Fire protection while carrying. Biome crystal. Mesa biome. All right. That'll be really useful. The uh, biome crystals, you can combine with something to... Uh, easily find biomes. Aha! Solidified experience. That's pretty cool. I assume I eat that? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, sir. But... I wonder why this room isn't echoey. Maybe it's because there's windows or something? But we want to make our way around this village just a bit more swiftly. We don't want to get taken out by any of these Zambonis. Okay. Oh, this is where the armorer is. Or blacksmith, as he's called. Um, is there any other useful buildings in this village? Ah! Gosh! Dang, everything wants to kill me. Um. Uh, here. Let's just... Nice. Okay. Now, we have time to rest. This druid sells the exact same thing. Red Priest. From Extra Utilities 2. I'm not a big fan of what they've done with Extra Utilities. But, you know, whatever. Uh, Alright, I'm going to pause recording for right now. Come back when it's morning. Welcome back, everybody. Um, so, I've been exploring for a little while here. I found a couple... No, I didn't find a couple villages. I found one more village. Or was it two? I can't even remember. Um, but I haven't done much, really. 
I got this sack of holding. Um, that's pretty easy to get. All you need to do is a thing. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so that is a pyramid, and that is a slime island. And we need to get to that slime island because... Let's go ahead, search slime. There's some pretty interesting things that you can get. So they have slime boots, which are congealed slime and slime balls. And then they have this slime sling, which is two string and some other stuff. Oop, oop, what, what happened to my sword? Oh no. Oh goodness. This makes me uncomfortable. Oh, so cute. All right, so now all we need to do is head up there. I imagine a stack of blocks. Might be enough. If not, that stinks. It seems that you could just stay down here forever and uh, get what you need. More pumpkins. I don't think we need more pumpkins. It's a good thing that pool of water is below it, because otherwise we might have problems. Uh, so yeah. This could probably make a pretty good, uh, mob farm, if you wanted to. Uh, is this its own biome? No. Uh, maybe it's like a sub-biome. Or maybe, uh, these mobs only spawn on these blocks. But we're gonna mine this congealed slime out because we need it. Don't wanna use that hoe. That hoe's for later. Fool. Ah! The bouncing is too much! Fool. Oh, wow. That's interesting. It bounces you differently than normal slime blocks. Okay, we should be able Necessarily in a hurry to try. Geronimo! Okay, I made it. That's cool. Uh, we don't necessarily want to go into this desert here uh, because magma cubes are going to spawn all over. Won't really be pleasant for anyone involved. What we do, however, want to do is go into that desert. I was just trying to get some pumpkins. Sir! Um, I don't want that skeleton following me, so. Oh, they replaced it with clay in this mod pack. Okay. Oh. All right. All right. Eat to upgrade your inventory. Heck yes. I nice. All right. Let's so, help. Okay, I'm having a lot of fun, you guys. Even if it doesn't seem like it. This is cool. One thing we do, however, want to do is take out that pressure plate before we kill ourselves. Okay, that capacitor is remarkable. Okay, um, catalyzing gland. Ender dungeon finder. Searches out the nearest spawner, the ender. Nice. Dang, we're getting rich. 
and possibly hard wheat sticks. Speed charm speeds up any mount. Cool. Um, want to see what we can and can't pick up? Bronze sword. Don't really care about that. Modified power holding device. Increases energy storage. Cool. All right, let's see what other stuff we can stick away in here. I'm going to be making the uh, that slime stuff in a second here. If you just give me a moment. Um, tree tap. Yes. Anything else we want to stick in there? Gold ingots. Sure. Okay. Now I'm just going to go ahead and pick up each of these chests. Piston scepter. Bobbles. Um, let's see. Yellow rune. Cork. This stuff is going to be pretty dang cool. And this inventory upgrade is awesome. All right, let's keep on going. Okay, now for the slime boots, you're, I'm gonna need two slime balls and two congealed slime, so like that. And then for the slime sling, I need three slime balls, a congealed slime, and two string. Okay. That goes there. Where's my helmet? Because I know there was a helmet in one of those chests. I don't know. I don't see it. Uh, that would suggest that I am blind. <laughs> All right. Um, let's see if we can't use our slime sling to get out of here. Okay. That worked like a charm. So, the slime sling, if you can't tell, um, slings you in the opposite direction that you're pointing. So, if I point here, we can get really far away really quickly. This is a great way of exploring. I think this episode is just going to be all exploring. And it's also going to be over soon. Uh, I'm going to do a bit more exploring that's probably going to be sped up. Oh, another village. Cool. All right. Well. Oh, what's that? Oh, more jam. I love jam. Okay. Well, I guess we're going to set up base camp here. Uh, and I'm going to end the episode. So thanks a ton for watching. I hope you enjoyed this first episode, which is sort of just me learning things. Um... As I said, I've never actually played in this mod pack before. So, the fact that I'm doing even a little bit well is amazing. Woo! So, yeah. Thanks a ton for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I guess I'll see you next time. Bye bye <laughs>